Western Australian grain growers are increasingly sowing canola crops early, and although this can maximise yield, there are risks involved. For beacon farmer Ty Kirby, growing a break crop in a low rainfall environment is a risky proposition at the best of times. He says the secret to success is access to subsoil moisture and sowing at the right depth in the conditions. You know, the big decision about whether you grow canola or not is, um, is determined by that subsoil moisture. If I'm comfortable with the summer moisture, the subsoil moisture I've got, choose to grow canola, well then seeding time, uh, whether it's dry on top or wet on top, I'm happy to dry seed canola. Probably more what fits the program, I would say, than, than necessarily what fits the variety. Uh, we've generally cropped sort of 5,000 hectares or thereabouts, so you know, there's time pressures in, involved in getting a program like that in the ground, so it's almost uh, to the point where you, you've got a date, you know you've got to start seeding. Mr Kirby's experience fits with recent research led by the Department of Agriculture and Food, WA, and supported by the Grains Research and Development Corporation. It resulted in guidelines being developed for WA grain growers about how much moisture is required to successfully establish early sown canola. They recommend wet sowing only when there is sufficient moisture in the seed bed during the five day germination period, as well as further down, so that seedlings can connect with stored moisture deeper in the soil profile. For dry sowing, the maximum allowable rainfall is estimated at about 5 mm on sandy soils, 8 mm on loamy soils, and 10 millimetres on clay textured soils. Seed depths and things like that, if we're dry seeding we'd probably try and sow it shallower than, than we would in moisture. I'm, you know, I'm happy to chase the moisture a little bit. Dry seeding, just try and keep it you know, somewhere near the top so if you get, get a 5-10 mil rain event you know you've got that subsoil moisture underneath, you'll get the crop up and away and, and it can tap into that moisture that's underneath it. In the environment we're farming in Beacon, they've got to be short season and, and almost as short a season as they can be. You know, we're in a low rainfall region, ideally canola's the first crop in, um, and the, the faster you can get it to maturity the better. Adding canola to the cropping system has also provided benefits for weed control and chemical rotations. The other thing that canola does is it gives you herbicide options. You know, we've got good herbicide options in crop. So weed controlling crop is easier than cereals as well, so it's, it's not a bad one to start with. You know, you can go in with or without a knockdown, depending on moisture, um, and still have reasonably successful weed control in crop. Well, if you're wet sowing, hopefully you've had the opportunity to put a knockdown on, or you are putting a knockdown on as you're seeding. Dry sowing, you obviously haven't had the opportunity to use a knockdown herbicide. So in terms of your timeliness of weed control, in crop, you've got to be a bit more on top of that, I guess. You know, you know you're going to have a germination. Hopefully your pre-emergent herbicides are going to give you some activity, but certainly being on, t you know, the fact that you haven't had a knockdown down means would dictate that you've got to be back in the paddock earlier and, and be a bit more aware of, of those early establishment of weeds.